Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Nigma, and I'm bringing you guys patch 2.2.7. What do we got? We got a new free hero list with lots of mid heroes, such as Valkyrie, Master of Arms, Soul Stealer, uh, Polywog Priest, and so forth. So that's going to be interesting for the free to play players. We have a new alt avatar for Demented Shaman, which I will show you in a minute. And we have some balance changes, which I will get into now. Nullfire cooldown from 12 slash 20 seconds to 20 seconds. Quite a significant nerf for the rank 1 Nullfire Blade, but uh, I've pretty much been upgrading my Nullfire bl uh, Blade right when I uh, get it as soon as possible, so not too significant for me, but uh, maybe uh, more significant in competitive play. Amun Ra, reduce starting armor from 1.12 to 1.02, reduce starting strength from 22 to 21. Uh, this is sort of the nerf that people have been, you know, looking for in Amun Ra. Now his early survivability, as you know, it's not that good if you don't have a Helm of the Black Legion on Ra yet. And now sort of this window of opportunity to kill him early in the game is now definitely much nicer because he's going to have less survivability in the lane. Similar nerf here to Drunken Master, starting armor reduced from 3.38 to 2.88. Drunken Master, a uh, very strong hero in my opinion, and um, very difficult to kill all game. And so here again, the laning phase, slightly easier to gank. Uh, electrician starting agility from 15 to 13, not much to talk about there. Uh, engineer intellect growth from 1.8 to 2.1. I find this to be quite significant. I think Engineer is going to have a lot more um, intelligence now to sort of spam his abilities, which is nice. Geomancer Earth's Grasp Radius increased from 170 to 180. This is very significant in my opinion because now you basically need more speed to outrun his Earth's Grasp. So um, any more speed that you need to outrun this is going to be, you know, huge because as you know, if you can't outrun Earth's Grasp, you're going to take like over 300 damage. So that's nice. Uh, Master of Arms Acid Bomb now deals 75% damage to non-heroes. As far as I know, it did 50% in the past. So I'm guessing this is a buff to the previous nerf of only 50% damage as far as I know. So um, that might be nice. I could be wrong though on that. Don't want to say anything. Uh, Monkey King starting armor reduced by one. Uh, again, people have been complaining that Monkey King is overpowered and difficult to kill. So an another uh, hero that is easier to kill in the laning phase. Heavenly Vault is reworked. So now you can vault three times instead of twice. I believe the overall damage is the same. So I guess this will sort of make it more difficult to get the combo off. Uh, the three times combo for Monkey King with his vault. But um, I still have to see how this is going to pan out. I'm not quite 100% familiar on this, but I know that uh, people have been complaining that Monkey King is overpowered and that his vault does too much damage, so I'm assuming all in all this is all one nerf to make his combo more difficult to pull off with uh, the same amount of damage, so we'll see how that ha uh, pans out in the future. Nymphora teleport cooldown increase from 60 to 90 slash 75 slash 60. This is a competitive play thing. Because Nymphora, uh, back in the past, people didn't really utilize their ultimate to just sort of uh, teleport around on the map anywhere, but now they are, and it's uh, proven to be very powerful because you can't see it coming. So, understandable nerf to the cooldown here. Parasite starting strength reduced from 23 to 21. Uh, again, not surprising. Parasite very top tier at the moment, so uh, nice to see him getting some nerfs. Uh, Polywog Priest Voodoo Wards cooldown increase from 100 to 120, 110, 100. I'm a big fan of this nerf. Uh, people say all the time, you know, Polywog Priest is not overpowered. He's just picked all the time because he's great. But, you know, if he's picked all the time, then, you know, he's putting other sort of pushing heroes out of business. And I'm really tired of seeing Polywog Priest. So I love this uh, nerf here. Tundra, um, the Shiver uh, sight range is decreased. Uh, significantly uh, day and night so this is a quite the nerf to tundra also his mana cost for uh, call of the winter is increased from 25 to 50 so um, very significant nerf there for his uh, pets and I believe tundra also very top tier hero in competitive play so um, not surprising really uh, Wretched Tag removed the Flash of Darkness minimum rage requirement. Uh, nothing needs to be said there. Not very important. Zephyr strength growth from 2.5 to 2.2. Um, quite significant uh, nerf to Zephyr strength gain, but uh, remains to be seen how that will pan out. I still think uh, Zephyr is quite a strong hero. Then you got some bug fixes, which I'm not going to get into. Instead, of, I'm going to dive right in, here in. into the shop, into the old avatars. We see the new demented. Shaman skin here, as you can see, it's a female. 
May I be of aid? Um, you won't hear the voices in game because they don't work in practice mode. I need bone and flesh. So I'm just gonna place them here. Power of the arcane. You again so that's soon. that. Um, I've got practice mode right here. As you can see, she looks sort of like a female version of Demented Shaman, sort of the way you would expect. Um, I like her projectile. It's sort of um. It looks a little bit different than uh, Demented Shaman's projectile. I can slow it down a bit here. I think it looks a lot cooler, sort of mistier. So there's that. Um, all of her abilities are quite the same. We've got the Entangle, the Unbreakable, the Heal, and the Ultimate. Has a new sound clip for it. Same thing for everything else. But that's about it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please subscribe if you enjoyed it, and more videos to come in the future. Thank you.